You know, on Tuesdays, I get a word of the day. I actually do a segment on Annunciation Radio, which is an EWTN affiliate radio station in Toledo, Ohio. I love the guys that I chat with. It's only a 10-minute segment. But I seem like my Tuesdays are made for me. In other words, when I sit down and I read mental prayer, I read the scriptures, I read the daily readings, something is supposed to pop out to me. A word, a phrase, a theme, something that I think God is looking to talk to me about. And today, as it seems like every Tuesday, I just seem to focus on the word of the day that I'm supposed to be talking about. And that is what happened again today. And the word is abandon. Now I am talking a little bit whispery e, <laughs> whispery e, because my husband is sleeping and I am upstairs trying not to be ridiculously loud. And it's the first time my voice has actually worked today. So I hope it doesn't sound too raspy. So let's Think about what was the word abandoned used for in today's readings? Well, it was David. He was dancing with abandon. And it just made me think, what an interesting word to use. And so I said, let's look up the word abandon and you will be shocked. So the verb has a few, five different meanings. To withdraw one support or help from especially in spite of duty, allegiance, or responsibility, to desert, to abandon a friend in trouble. Another one is to give up by leaving or ceasing to operate or inhabit, especially as a result of danger or other impending threats. Abandon the ship. To surrender one's claim, right to, or interest in, giving up entire, entirely. To relinquish to abandon a belief, to cease trying to continue, desist from, abandon the search for the missing hiker, and then to yield oneself completely as to emotion. And I think of that one when I think about David, that he yielded himself completely in the emotion of the joy of what was happening. Then there's nouns, so great enthusiasm or lack of restraint. Skied with abandon is the sample. Abandonment to naturalness (laughs) of action or manner, free from constraint or conventionality. Conventionality. The act of giving up or relinquishing abandonment. Okay, those are kind of gross. Those don't even make much sense. But... He abandoned all of himself and was totally free of preconceived ideas, preconceived thoughts, any worry about anyone around him looking at him dancing with abandon. And I think of myself and how much do I do the same with God? How much am I Living with abandon, maybe not dancing, but living where I have no constraints. I I have no restraint. This says great enthusiasm or lack of restraint. Are you looking at your life right now and the things that you are working on, soul, mind, and body, And maybe thinking, I should approach it with abandon. Completely not like what you've done before. With all preconceived ideas, with all of your thoughts and experiences, just cast to the wayside. What if we all just tried to live the Christian life with complete abandon? And looked at God and said, with great joy, I'm just going to throw it all away and look to you and allow you to come into my life. 
So again, that I can have great enthusiasm or lack of restraint. Great enthusiasm for what God can do and a lack of restraint for what I think he can't do. How many times do we think that God (laughs) isn't going to heal us with abandon? That he's just going to cast all the logic and the stuff aside and just give you this beautiful, miraculous grace in your life. What a blessing, right? But how often do we truly look to God and say, we're going to abandon all of our preconceived ideas and we're just going to run to you like little children dancing around like David. So let's do that today. I really do want us to be so filled with joy with this walk that we're on that we can just look to God and say, I throw it all away. I abandon all of it. And I'm going to allow you, God, to write my course, to blaze the path in front of me. Because so far, maybe I've been the one that has been trying to blaze my own path. Or maybe I'm afraid to blaze the path because of my preconceived ideas that I am now going to abandon. And I'm just going to follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit. What is that? How do you follow the prompting? What is a prompting? Somehow, some way, God is speaking to you. I don't know what he's telling you. But during the day, you may feel a movement to do something. To reach out to someone. Maybe even someone pops into your head. And you're like, wow, I haven't thought of that person in a long time. And instead of reaching out to that person to see how they're doing or just saying, hey, you came into my heart, how are things going? You decide that you're not going to do that. You're going to go continue on with your scrolling on social media, or you're going to continue with your work, whatever it else, whatever else it is that you are doing. And all of a sudden, A day goes by, two two days go by, and you finally say, oh, you know what? I didn't contact Susie when I thought about her the other day. I'm going to reach out to her. And sure enough, you reach out, and Susie said, oh, I wish you called me two days ago. I really could have used your advice. Instead, I went off on this, you know, journey of a decision on my own, and I'm not sure I did the right thing. That's a timing issue. That is us taking that prompting and shoving it aside. If you're at a grocery store and God prompts you to go say hi to someone or to to maybe just, how you doing today? Or just flash a smile at someone. There may be just that simple act that he wants you to do for that person. That person may be having a horrific day or something tragic happen to them and they need that love, that smile and you decide that you're not going to do it. Or you're at home, you're sitting around and all of a sudden you have this urge to go walk or move your body or go put in a DVD or lift some weights to do something and then you choose not to. You say, nah, I'm going to sit here. These are the promptings of God. This is how it works. And how many times do we not listen? So today, I really want you to look at your life and abandon all of the stuff that you think is going to happen today. Live life with reckless abandon. Dance around like David with abandon. Knowing and hoping And praying that God is going to come into your life in a big, big way. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Come into our minds. Help us engage in our life. Come into our hearts and change those desires so that we can finally kick these strongholds to the curb And go out and glorify you. 
please come into our bodies so that we are not lazy, so that we want to move this beautiful body that is yours, where you live, Holy Spirit. Ignite us on fire to take care of our soul, our mind, and our body. Give us the desire to pray and to start our day with you, giving you the first fruits so that we can be love to other people in our life. That's what you've asked us to do, and we need that help. We need to abandon our own ideas and ways in which we think things are going to happen and just humbly offer it all to you. So Lord, please help us today to abandon our old ways and to dance around with reckless abandon and complete joy and hope waiting patiently and being kind as we wait patiently for this amazing transformation in our life that we know you are going to do for us. In your holy name, Jesus, we pray. Lord, we also ask for all of the souls in purgatory to be released. Your mercy is endless. They desire to be with you. We know that you are also a just judge, but we beg you to free souls from purgatory as we pray this Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, you've got this. Abandon it all and watch God talk to you. Watch him prompt you. Watch him come into your life today in a big way. All right, everyone. I love you all. Find something more with God, soul, mind, and body, and have a blessed and inspired day.